you guys. Welcome back to Danganronpa V3 episode. What are we at? Like 54? I think we're at 54. We are rescuing this guy. Kaito Mimosa. Luminary of the bathroom. So first we're going to the dining hall in order to get everything together. And then we are storming the place where... It is really weird. Yesterday the like mana three of or four of the five exosols were just sort of doing a happy little dance around Monokuma. Again, I have to wonder how many Monokumas there are, because in, in Dagonrapa 1, we actually came across a Ma Monokuma facility. And we have not come across anything like that this time. So it could be that he has a very limited number. Oh, there we I'm like, where is everybody? We're all here! I'm ready. Let's do this. My little hammer's all recharged. One of us didn't have their electro hammer. M Maki, where's your electro hammer? I don't need, need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. This is much better. Uh, um... And, well, I suppose you do know best. I mean, that is. Uh, four electro hammer. Oh, but there are five exosols, aren't there? That could be problematic. Hey. Then we're off? Hey. Before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted out the hangar yesterday. I discovered the Kaito was trapped in the, trapped in the hangar bathroom. I see. Well, that certainly is the best place to lock someone up. I, remember correctly. I also saw... Hmm. Monokuma by the hangar being protected by four exes. If protected is the word you want to use for it. Is that all right? So have to be careful that we're not spotted. Oh, I saw that too. Huh? Yes. I thought maybe I could get through the through to Kokichi before we carry out the plan. I was in the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. Yeah, Maki's like, this is not what we agreed upon. This is why I don't like waiting. You guys ruin everything. Well. So I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. As I when his battle was suspected, there was no response at all. But, but I did witness a few things. I wonder if Kokichi's already dead. Well. We'll discuss that later. For now. I'm sure I saw this relevant to the plan. I was going to say, what do you mean you'll discuss it later? Tell me now! Kibo! For now. Shuichi saw four exosols that appear to be guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. Yes. Yes, the green exosol. If I remember correctly. So that means they're down to three. That's I, I'm not liking the fact that they're spreading out. I. Make sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Either the alarm system or the electric barrier reacted to the exosol's presence. Well, of course not. Could it be? Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the exosols? That's right. Considering it's where the exosols are stored, it would appear to be a safe assumption. Hmm. As a, well, I mean, we'll just see how many are patrolling around Monokuma. Okay. This is our only electro bomb. We can't afford to miss. Hmm. Now that we're off for real this time. Let's do it. Although I have a, I, I almost think we'll run in there and see Kokichi be like, explodinated. We have a number of people. We they're already establishing a number of people which are the hangar by themselves. All right. You guys ready? I am I am amped for this. Like this is either gonna be an epic scene or Kokichi will be dead. I'm also kind of curious what exactly happens to the Exosols when the remote control is destroyed. That seems very relevant information to have. Because we're assuming they just stop moving, but what if they don't? Did they say cyber courtyard? I believe that's what I heard. I feel like I should hear them by now. They're not moving. Hmm. And Monokuma's gone. Monokuma's not... He should be have been protected by the Exosols. And the Exosols... I don't know if they're going to move. What's going on? There's only three of them. Should be two more in the hangar. That's true. Although, once again, I have to... I, either they used a grenade... All right. Oh, 
Although the fact that Kibo is still standing here indicates they didn't use the grenade. Well then. Everyone's here. Let's get started right away. Let's get this party started. I I'm ready. Are you okay? Ma are you ready with the electro bomb? <laughs> I love that response. That response is awesome. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Some of the grenades, so the detonation lags a bit after you press the switch. Once we roll this in front of the shutter, we should disable the alarm system. That's obvious. This won't. Well, why is Kibo standing here? Hmm. The other one has effective range of 50 yards and lasts for two hours. If we use your controls disabled, we'll have a chance against the Exosols. Right. I don't know if he can. I think the cockpit's probably too small for him. He's that Exosol. I'll, st I'll stop him with the hammer. Yeah. What's the matter? But Kipo is standing right here. That's true. All right. Then let's go. The alarm says to say, now we can approach the control panel. I, why is Kibo still active? Leave it to me. This time I'm not going to um, talk to everybody. Hey. I, do you mean this panel? The panel was covered in mark. It was damaged by something sharp. What are you trying to pull? Okay. Inter I wonder what that could be. It could be Maki's knife, but that doesn't make any sense. Oh my! The electric bear. Of well, that is what we expected. This is the problem with this kind of game, because I really want to go forward. I just want to skip all the dialogue, but I'm not going to. You better be ready. This is it. And this is a spare he in here and now. I'm really concerned and confused by the fact that Kibo was not affected by the Electro Bomb. To end this despair. Yep, okay. I thought that might happen. Wait, is that Kaito? What? <laughs> well, I mean, there would be another Mert, but that looked like Kaito's jacket, not Kokichi. I really thought Kokichi would be the one to be dead, not Kaito. Not over yet. It's also very relevant because that thing, that looked like he was crushed inside that. Um, and that shouldn't be possible. It has an automatic stop gate if um, life is detected, which may mean he was killed and then put there and then crushed. What is this? What's going on? Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much to spare. Yeah. What? What? Is that is that blood? It can't be. The body. Does that mean someone's in that press? What? The only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaita. It must be one of them. Huh? Either. Either Kokichi or Kaito are dead. Huh? Yeah, that's Kaito's jacket. Although, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. That's Kaito's. What did you say? Oh, the, the one in the hydraulic press is... 
We'll check the bathroom. It looks like you had a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. That's what the killing game's all about, after all. So, I will now pass out the Monokuma file. Don't take any bored of this, because things are about to get interesting. I'm never bored of the investigations. Hope you pour your heart and soul in the investigation, too. Hold oh, we have to invest... The killing game is going to continue? The killing game is continuing. Monica was still moving, then. Yeah, it means the mastermind Kokichi is still alive. Or he's not the mastermind. What was that? If Kokichi's alive, that means the one dead over there is... Kaito? There's no way Kaito could die, though. That has to be a lie. Calm down. Huh? How can you sit? Ma Kaito is. I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and. It's. I. I do have to wonder if Maki really has emotions for Kaito or not. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait. It. What are you talking about? More important. Where's Kokichi? I mean, he's just hiding. Kokichi can do that. Although, again, I'm not convinced Kokichi is not the one in the hangar. Let's look at the Monokuma file. No matter how good a hide and seek, we can't let him get away this. No. We can't leave yet. Okay. We don't know for certain that that body is Kaito's. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. What? Are you saying? Then why would the killing game still be continuing? If Kaito's... Why is he showing... Well, he's locked in the bathroom, dum-dum. Are you... He, no, because he's locked in the bathroom, dum-dum. Don't say stupid things. Because I mean, the culprit is more possible than him being dead. That's impossible. Guys, just look at the damn Monokuma file. Holy crap. Actually... His opponent... The Master of the Killing could control the exosols at will. How could Kaito have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? No. I don't know. I just... I'm just saying it's possible. And even if Kohichi was killed, that doesn't mean Kaito is the culprit. Oh. Stop it. it could have been that he did it to himself. It could also be that... I mean, there are several people who came over here. Ralph's shocking Kaito's death, saying that we're suspects going too far. I understand what they, the initial. Look at the damn Monokuma file. So evidence does suggest Kaito is dead, but I just can't believe that. Or maybe I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaito is dead. Um. We need to find the truth here with our own hands and reveal that truth in the trial. The alternative is we all die, dum dum. Because class trial is going to be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts there. You're an impressive detective through and through. Might not reach the truth, but something even beyond it. Did Kaito know this was coming? That's right. I have to do this. Keep my promise to Kaito. I understand. I thank you, Kibo, for being hey. rational. But we already know the answer. We can't. We decided to live for hope. But my main concern is how Kokichi will react if we accuse him of being the culprit. Mm. Yeah, if he just plays dumb and runs, there's nothing we can do. But... That's very, very, very true. I don't think Junko Industry shares the killing game rules. The Runes of the Bear worships her. I don't think they'd ignore those. Then, then it'll be easy to deal with him. We need to vote for him in the class trial. Yeah. I understand the others, but why Maki? 
Why is she accepting Kaito's death so easily? Will you just look at the damn Monokuma file, guys? Jeebus. I get the whole emotional response and trying to, you know, rationalize and, you know, deal with emotions, but damn it, I'm logical. I want to get to the investigation. Well, then. Thank you. Kibo is becoming my favorite character. Oh, you son of a bitch. Body was discovered in the XSL hangar. It was crushed by the dog press and is unidentifiable. I, I really thought that that would actually give me some information about whether it was Kaito or not. That's it. That doesn't tell us anything. The identification of the victims on what doesn't even tell us that much. Doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and the culprit are. Culprit who killed Kaito is definitely Kokichi. No. Hmm. It's true the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but, but Kaito told me. Don't you? I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. You guys are working so hard. I can't just sit back and. I wonder if it's both of them. I'm. I want to believe the promise Kaito made. I want you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. You don't know. You're not calm at the moment. Right now you're acting like Kaito back at Gonta's class trial. <sighs> it was like this at that time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. I don't think he is. I think he's pretty calm and rational at the moment. I think Maki's projecting. Um. There's something about the air in here that's making me feel off. Not the electro bombs to blame, or if I'm malfunctioning somehow. I'm trying to feel somewhat then, sick. Then. It's gotta be because the electro. Kibo's an electronic appliance after all. Don't call me an appliance. Okay. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. No, that, that, that's the right thing to do. Mm. I think I'll start investigating too. Yes, let's please start investigating. Oh my god, we have to, we have to figure out who the victims or victims are. Uh -huh. You'd be okay by yourself. I could go with you if you want. No. Bodies like that, we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. It should be fine for us to investigate by ourselves. Wait, what? Could it be? I wonder if Himiko suspects uh, um... everyone. Because there's few of us. God dang it. Nope, stop with the auto. If there's few of it, the few people who could be the culprit, right? It's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking? Yeah, I did suggest that possibility. Cobra might not be Kokichi or Kaito, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. We were united towards hope before all this, but now we're all split up. Is that why Kokichi killed Kaito? To disrupt our harmony. Because if not, what reason would he have to kill Kaito? Maybe that's what the class trial is going to be for. The reason Kokichi is going to hold class trial might be to separate us. Like I thought. In the end, we're all gathered around Kaito. He was the one holding us together. If that's why he killed him, we're completely caught in the trap. It's all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. It's exactly what he wanted. We're split up. We can't even get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. We don't have information, much information to go on. Monokuma's father's been some help, but it's not enough this time. But... Well, I also see a trail of blood go coming from the bathroom. Yeah. Please, can I start? <laughs> You've been making me wait for 20 minutes, game. Ooh, I like this background theme. Well, first of all, Himiko, why did you just walk slightly away? What? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? Well, you, are, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's dead. No. I want to hear your excuse. Just, just don't talk to me. Wow. 
You keep bugging me. I'll give you afro hair with my magic. Is there a reason she doesn't talk to anyone? Oh, come on, this barely has any information at all in it. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to be much use to us. Jeez. So, it probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. That's nice. Oh, that's fine, it's fine. The mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief to peace of mind. Well, that's what he does. Jeez. One attention hog. Mm. Of course I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. Hey. You have appeared fewer times than playing Jane Tsunami over there. It's the Moogie. He falls advertising I didn't appear as often as I can, you know. No. Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah. Dog presses down, there's blood in the area. Dog press is controlled by those buttons. If we use it to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. I don't really want to do that though. What is a blood stain? We can tell a blood thing from the a swipe pattern as if dragged. This is coming from the bathroom. I understand you don't want to do this, but I can uh, go up, down, and stop. She use the up button to raise the press to check the body. I don't want to see it crushed, but no matter who it is, but I've got to do it. Huh? It's not moving. Why? It, it moved when I pressed it the last time. The power cord is cut. There's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Maybe hmm. coincidence the power cord was cut on purpose. Just the work of the culprit. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'll say a little relief, but I shouldn't say that out loud. In addition, there's an emergency stop button. This would have been stopped instantly if you use this. Well. If the culprit was planning to use this for murder, they have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. Our dollar press should have had a safety function. When the sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. I wonder if you can smash the infrared sensor. I remember. If there's such a person, it should have stopped for the press automatically. a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's sleeve coat. Coat sleeve. In that case, the victim no. must be. No. Nope. It hasn't been determined yet. I need to investigate further. The left sleeve is sticking out of the hydraulic press. Only the sleeves, no part of the victim's body is visible. Are they crushed completely? So only a sleeve? No, that's impossible. Hmm. What's this? See, it has a single small hole in it. Hmm. A hole in this? What could that be? That's all the information I can do so in the hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have any clues to work with. Okay. It's the left sleeve. Oh, I love the question marks. I feel like... One second, let me check something. I've got suspicions, guys. So if I go...
Where's Kaito? That's not helpful. He's actually wearing his coat there. Very often he has it slumped over his shoulder and one arm is sticking out. Like that. What? Why? But I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Okay. That does appear that his right sleeve is through the jacket. Or his light right hand is in the jacket and his left hand, so if it's the left sleeve, that doesn't actually tell me anything. Whoa! Winning at something like this. That's unfortunate. I was I was actually hoping that the fact it was the left sleeve might mean something. Okay. So I got everything I can from this. Is there anything about the washing machine that's relevant? No, nothing. Here these two are. Why are they here? There's access all around the middle of the hangar. Hatch open the cockpit's exposed. This is how it looks on the inside. It's small, but big enough for one person. Oh. Huh? The hatch is open? Now, strange. Only the monocubs can turn off the electric lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the monocubs can open the hatch? Yeah. Yeah. Only the monocubs are the ones who are going to pilot the exosols. Well. Normally, being the keyword, and that electro hammer thing, the electro lock's all screwed up. Uh, um, nope. No one's asked me about it either. If I'd been asked, I would have been irrelevant information for you guys anyway. Interesting. Must be why only Monocubs control the Exosols. If you disable the lock, you could control the Exosol. So someone with an Electro Hammer could get in there and... Because if you were inside this, you could walk in here. The Red Exosol is completely still. No. Shouldn't move anyway. Anymore. Not without the Monocubs or Kokichi. It's just a pile of scrap, then? Hey! Don't scare me like that. We could find out very easily if anyone did that by looking at their electro hammers, because if someone used this last night, their hammer wouldn't have had time to recharge yet. My magic. Just tear the hunk of junk apart with my magic. <laughs> that is, if Kokichi's alive. A remote control that Kokichi has for the exosols. What is, does that, does he have it because it's the mastermind? Now that I think about it. Now I'm locked in this bed, but Kokichi is just outside the door. This place where Kaito was imprisoned. Might have left some kind of clue here. Well, he didn't leave it, he might not be dead. I definitely saw that. Blood stain. Put all blood in the center of the room and a swipe pattern from there to the door. Hmm. There's a crossbow? The hell's there a crossbow in here? Crossbow? This is... It's one of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is this here? Did Kaito have it with him? Okay, please, thank you. Jeebus. There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total, and there's blood on all of them. What is, what happened here? Well, one of them is probably the cause of the hole in Kaito's jacket. Okay, there's the window. I'm like, where's the window? I know there's a window as well. Small window for ventilation. This is... Yeah, this is the window you talked to him through. Same window from before. 
It's a small window that doesn't open all the way. I'm gonna be able to fit through here. Well, so sort of could fit, kind of would have escaped by now. This is off our person, but an object could fit through. Okay. So you lose that there's something over there. Small bottle of the court. It's empty. I remember correctly. I feel like I've seen this before. There's blood all over it, so I can't read it. Compl I can read it. You can see the word poison. Could it be? It's poison. This bottle must be taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here. It has something to do with the case. Okay, there is something left. Oh, is it back here? The black. Okay, so this is where the, the crossbow came in. Yeah, is it with the case from before, right? There were more clues than I thought there'd be, and one's particularly concerning. Why is the crossbow from Monkey's lab in here? So it looks like they probably dipped the crossbow bolts in poison. These arrows are definitely for the crossbow. But why are they all three bloodied? That bottle of poison. What could that have been used for? Hmm. Okay. And with that, we will conclude day one of the investigation. My thoughts so far of the case are that. Someone um, got into the green exosol, jimmied the lock with the electro hammer, got into it, wrote it in here, um, either used the exosol to knock out Kokichi, or you know had the crossbow with the poison arrows and used that to take that. Took out both Kokichi and Kaito, put them both in the press, and used and used the press to crush them both, leaving Kaito's sleeve hanging out. And putting the obvious blame on Kokichi, who won't show up even at the trial. Is what I'm thinking so far. But we'll find out next time, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. <laughs>